Half a century ago, the conscience of a nation was stirred by a remarkable leader. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. urged us, every one of us, to join the fight for racial equality and social justice for all. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. There were heroes who endured beatings and abuse. Some gave their lives, while thousands of others, unsung citizens and activists, also risk much to fight for change. It is right for us to celebrate Dr. King's marvelous oratory, but it is worth remembering that progress did not come from words alone. Progress was hard. Progress was purchased through enduring the smack of billy clubs and the blast of fire hoses. It was bought with days in jail cells and nights of bomb threats. And together, they moved mountains. Then Dr. King asked us to do more, to tackle injustice in healthcare. In the years since, we've made progress. And Dr. King's memory has inspired others to work for change. We have a mission. We have a mandate. We have a moral obligation to lead this nation into a new era where healthcare is a right and not a privilege. Now is the time. Be on the right side of history. In that long journey, the new healthcare law is a major milestone. We can build on this foundation, but it's already under attack by those who want to stop our hard-won gains and move us backwards. Let us draw strength from those earlier struggles. First and foremost, let us remember that change has never been quick. Change has never been simple or without controversy. Change depends on persistence. Change requires determination. Together, we made history when we made health reform possible. But as we celebrate that hard-won victory, let us remember that this promise is not yet a living reality for most Americans, and its future is by no means secure. As the struggle led by Dr. King taught us, in the march to social justice, there are no such things as permanent victories or permanent defeats. We have to keep up the fight against those who would snatch this victory away. It's up to us now to see that the promise of health reform is fully realized, and we can do it if we just keep our eyes on the prize and hold on. We must do it, and we will do it, starting now.